congratulations. Oh. You finally got it. Ah, finally, yes. Yeah, yes. Don't take away any of those rebounds. I don't know. We got we to see. They might take it away again. They're going to watch the game. Every time I get a triple double, I feel like they rewatch the game. So we'll see. But you counted that first one. Huh? Didn't you count that first one? Which one? The first triple double. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. At this point, I don't even know how many triple doubles I got because I feel like they're going to take it away again. Can you take us through sort of the coverages and how they were approaching defending you today and, and how you were able to adjust to it, use it to make yeah. plays for other guys? Um, yeah, I think, you know, every time I was driving, it was like four or five people around me. So um, definitely tough to get to the rim and, and do things that I usually do. but. But then it opened up things for, for everyone around. So um, I just, I think it's, it's just part of the experience of, of seeing more um, teams, you know, sending bodies at me. So um, I just I just use it to my advantage and, and, and get guys involved. And um, and yeah, it was making shots, uh, which I was, I was happy about. So yeah, it was good. Do you see similarities with the way you guys defend other stars? Um, obviously, Finch. Was worked in this organization. Do you see the way he's approached things similar to the way you guys do things? I don't, I don't, know. I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. I don't watch their games that much. How much does it help when, <laughs> when, when teams are kind of sending multiple bodies and you have Gary shooting the ball well, you have OG shooting the ball well, and you have that stretch with Precious and mm -hmm. shooting well? How much more room does it feel like there is, even though they are yeah, trying yeah. to take away the rim to you? Yeah, no, I think it. it, it I think for all the teams just watching that, you know, like hopefully, you know, next time it's like, you know, he get a little less help. But <laughs> so I just think that, yeah, like it helps those guys to knock down shots and, and um, open up the floor for us. And, and, and I think the more, you know, I, I get them the ball and they knock down shots, the better it's going to be for me. So um, that's kind of how I see it. You've been seeing double teams all year. Was this even more than you've been seeing normally? Uh, I think it wasn't much like, yeah, it was just, it was double team, but it was just like, they were just collapsing every time I drove. So it was like, I think like I, I I feel like every time down 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 the floor was like everything was open you know <laughs> every time I had the ball so it's just like yeah if you pick pick wherever you want you want to pass it to and and, and it's gonna be open and, and it's just I, to them to make the the play so um, yeah I just I just I just kind of figured that and 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 it was just like I try to attack in transition and then you know once I, I get in the half court and, and whatever is open just just make the play. How deep into a game? How long into a game does it usually take you to like read and react in that way yeah. to see how teams are approaching? you and then make your yeah um I think the first quarter like I didn't really have the ball that much so like I didn't get to really see it but um a couple of positions I seen it and then and then second quarter you know like it was just evident so I was just like all right coming back to the in the half um I made a couple of plays in the first half you know a little bit a little bit of assist but then coming in the second half I just I just figured like yeah let me just see you know what they're gonna do and 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 and, and are they gonna adjust or not so I, I was just making plays Pascal, what's the biggest challenge with being a high usage two way player um, I mean, <laughs> uh, you can't get tired. <laughs> you can't get tired because, because, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a lot, right? Like, you got to guard players. It's not like I can just be out there and just not guard anybody. So, um, you got to guard and then also uh, have the ball and, 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 and try to make plays. And, but, but I, I enjoy it, man. It's fun. I, I'd rather be that than sitting on the corner. Um, so, yeah, it's fun, and, and I think the more I get in these positions, the better I'm going to get. You talk about you know, knowing you can't get tired. How much uh, does that become a priority then in the off season, knowing that, hey, this is the type of load that i got to take on? Um, no, yeah, I think it's just, it's just like, you know, preparing, you know, like, it's like, like everything else. Um, I always figured that, you know, it's going to be a, another level for me to get to and and that comes with the responsibility of taking care of your body doing everything that you need to to make sure that you're on top you know and 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 players that are, are that caliber you know they they do a lot to take care of their bodies and, and that, that's something that i'm learning and and um and you have to invest so I, I'm, I'm willing to to make that investment and, and continue taking care of my body because um it's, it's gonna it's gonna pay off in the long run how are your emotions going from the algeria goal to the cameroon goal oh Lord, yeah, it was. Whew. I was watching the game and and it was like they scored and it was like oh my god, like I, I felt like I got shot. And that's just always for for being you know super. <laughs> it was extreme, but that's kind of literally how I felt. Um, I never got shot before, so I don't know how that feels. But I'm just saying, it felt like a real pain, you know. And um, 
And yeah, I was just there watching it, and, and I'm watching it, and I'm watching it, and I'm like, man, like I don't know how he's gonna do it, but you know, I have, I have, as you know, as as a Cameroonian player, we always know we have faith, and and I had a little bit of faith. I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just stop the game. I'm gonna watch it till the end. Um, and yeah, miracle happened, and 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 we got that goal, and it was just, yeah, it was the. I remember having this feeling when I was nine years old watching the game back home and I was remember just running around like and just no shoes and outside and just running. That's the same feeling I had except I was in my house. But yeah, it felt, felt good though. You said that, Thank you. You said you had your choice of pretty much anybody to, you know, pitch it out to. Did you like are, are you, do you do that point guard thing now where you kinda of look for the hot hand and you're you think um, precious at one point. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Especially seeing guys. I mean, I, I trust my teammates to make to make the shots every like every time down the play. So I, it's not it's not about that. It's just like yeah, like if I see someone is you know making shots a lot, a, a lot, so you look for them. And I think that that's just like a mentality that we have, kind of like as a team. Um, if I if I if I feel like you know Freddie is, is getting hot, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna try to look for him. You know if I'm in transition or or whatever, and and and, and vice versa. Do you think that could still get up like that? <laughs> Yeah, that's his name, right? Thad Young. He's young. <laughs> that boy was up there. Like I didn't, I didn't expect that. I was trying to get the ball from him. He just, he just said, hey, "Screw Pascal. I'm just gonna jump off the trampoline and 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 dunk this thing." You know? Um, yeah, it was impressive. I don't even think I can jump that that high. Yeah. So yeah, shout out to I. Like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know he had that in him. Got one question uh, online from Mike. Go ahead. Bonsoir Pascal, est-ce que ça marche, est-ce que tu m'entends Ouais, ouais. Parfait. Euh, je voulais te poser la question sur le fait que tu dis toujours tu prends ce que la défense te donne et ce soir c'est exactement l'exemple de ça. Est-ce que euh, on connaît euh, les, euh, les, les, les affinités entre Finch et Nick Nurse Est-ce que tu as l'impression des fois de voir des choses que vous, vous faisiez euh, par rapport à la défense des Wolves ce soir Uh, non, je sais pas, je sais pas vraiment. Uh, pour moi, je, je regarde chaque match et puis bon, je, ce soir, uh, ils ont ils ont essayé de, de, de faire tout pour, pour, pour prendre le ballon uh, de ma main et puis bon, j'ai 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 fait ce que que, que je pensais qu'il qu était nécessaire pour qu'on gagne et, et, et bon, tout tout le monde uh, autour de moi ont mis des tirs donc uh, ça a aidé et, et, et puis bon, comme tu l'as dit, parfois c'est c'est parfois tu vas tu vas scorer beaucoup et puis parfois c'est 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 être un all around player. Et euh, l'autre question, c'était bien sûr pas sur euh, du basket, c'était euh, du soccer. Euh, un, ton avis sur la victoire du Cameroun Et une autre question euh, sur le fait que tu étais au match du Canada. Est-ce que, euh, à force d'être au Canada, il y a un petit sentiment de patriotisme canadien Est-ce que tu supportes l'équipe du Canada aussi Non, ouais, bien sûr, bien sûr que je supporte l'équipe du Canada. Euh, mais bon, je, je, je suis un Camerounais, donc c'est dans le sang. Et, et, et j'étais très content de notre victoire. Euh, Ouais, très émouvant et, 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 et puis beaucoup de joie et euh, comme euh, le, le capitaine Rigo Rigo Bersang, le coach a dit euh, il a dit euh, quand quand tu quand tu sais que tu es en danger tu n'es plus en danger c'est quand tu ne sais pas que tu es en danger que tu es en danger. <rire>